What's up, superstars? Back at you again with another vlog. Just got this 488 GTB right here. Ooh, that thing is wet. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Look how this thing look. Brand new. The color is wet. Look how that thing look from the back. Like, just like they say, everything looks better in person than it does in the daggone videos or the photo superstars. So I wanted to show that, share that with you all. Plus we're gonna chop it up like we always do. You know how we do in these vlogs. So, uh, but yes, indeed. Just wanted to let you all see that. It's another lovely day outside. The weather is breaking. So how's everybody out there doing? Uh, give me a minute. Let me get myself together and I'll be right back. What's up, superstars? We back. Uh, it's the same video, but obviously it's a different day. Uh, a lot of things have happened since uh, I started that vlog. Um, you know, it's... Uh, a sad state that this uh, republic is in where as though the value of life isn't equal um, but when you start to understand the laws and the natures that this country that this republic was founded on then you will understand why it is what it is you know, for years, uh, people of color have been fighting for equality, and um, <clears throat> it's just not something that this country was founded on. Um, to expect them to change something that they don't feel they need to change or have to change is going to be a very difficult task. And tell people that aren't directly affected by it gets involved. There's not going to be a change. Things are going to continue. Um, when you see the callousness for which they uh, handle people of color in minute situations, it doesn't justify <clears throat> murdering him. Because that's murder. Um, but what they did was, because of the lack of regard for his life, because he has melanin in his skin that makes it darker, than others they held him to little to no regard so as a result of that when he's pleading for his life and telling them he can't breathe and saying things like they're gonna kill me and everything like that they, it does, it's, they are unmoved and even to this day so many people are unmoved because that's how they view us as a as they don't view us they view us as less than human they were they care about dogs more than they care about us. Let's be real. If somebody, something happened to some, someone's dog, they're up in arms. But our lives can be lost and it's no big deal. So, and then when you start to realize and look into things, and you see that all of these old laws, they're still on the books. They haven't changed them. They haven't removed them. So, we're still not even a human. You know, we're less than human. Let that sink in. We are less than human in their eyes. That's why it's so hard to get prosecution on these cases where it's cut and dry. This guy straight got murdered on tape and nothing happens to the person who did it. Regardless if they're officer or it doesn't matter. You know, Trayvon Martin wasn't even an officer. It was a overzealous wannabe, you know? And what happened? He walked away. You know why he walked away? Because at the end of the day, we aren't equal to them. We are less than. So if you look at how they treat us, shoot, we probably less than dogs in their eyes. You know, so to it's, it's, it's very disturbing with these things. And <clears throat> I mean, the protests and everything, yeah, that's, it, it's necessary. The, the thing about the whole process is that when you look at America, this is a bloody country. Then we have to take necessary steps as a people 
uh, and move together together and then we can incite change but as long as you got mobs showing up I mean at the end of the day it's uh, I understand why why the protest it is necessary but it's not gonna be an effective uh, means because it's not organized there's not a plan in place you know everybody's just outraged and is speaking about it but okay yeah you need to get it off your chest but we also need to figure out how can we make this thing be worth worth all of the effort that we're putting into it you understand how can we make this just not be us fussing and cussing for a little bit and then things go back to normal we need to do things in a manner that it becomes the normal you understand it needs to be a new normal established You know, because this stuff is messed up and it's not, it, oh, no, will it ever be okay or acceptable? You know, and no one should let time pass and then it becomes not a big deal until it happens again. Because until we do something, it's going to keep happening. And, I mean, we'll see what happens since they're charging the officer or whatever. But uh, realistically, all four of them need to be charged. Just like if you present with someone and they murder someone and you did nothing to do to stop them, you are an accessory. You know, you could be an accessory before, during, and after the fact, depending on what your actions are. And they should be treated the same. They watched this man murder him and did nothing about it. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah see and this it, it it's bad because it brings up feelings that can create a whole negative vibe with everything you know where people want to start taking up arms and like look they come at me <laughs> it's going down then what you got a lot of people dying on both sides so uh you know all of these uh so-called leaders and all of this they need to you know speak up speak out and and try to you know put some type of organization to this thing give some type of direction ahead and some type of actions that that for people to see that they are serious and that makes sense that it's worth doing what they what they're suggesting and then traveling down that path but uh, until that happens I mean <laughs> let's be real until that happens it's not it's not a good thing and it's not gonna be a good thing and it's not gonna it's the situation will get worse you know for everybody because at the end of the day you're only gonna take so much that's just human nature you know it happens like yeah you know yeah they, they trip it then it happened again then it happened again then it happened again it's like look maybe it need to happen to them you understand what I'm saying and that's what we don't want it to come to you know it's gonna be a lot of lives lost and who knows if it'll even affect change and that's that's the question so we gotta think and act rationally to try to affect change yeah protests and everything else but you know we we still have to think of other things besides that because that's not gonna be enough I mean hey I'm I'm just a person I could be wrong you know no, I don't know everything, but it just doesn't make sense to me that something that has happened for so long is going to change. You know, it's definitely it's difficult. So, I mean, I've, I haven't talked a whole lot longer than I planned to superstars, but I just think that this was something that I had to say something because it's bothering me, and, it, and obviously it's bothering me because it affects me directly. You know, because I'm one of the people that when I leave out the house and, you know, you got a police behind you and they just follow you for no daggone reason. It's like, what is this joke about to do? You know, why? They're supposed to be here to protect and serve. And somewhere along the line, they forgot what their job is. You know, they want to be a police, but they don't even know what their job is. The half of them don't even know the freaking laws. So you can't even tell them what's right because they don't want to listen thinking that they make the laws. Ignorance. But uh, let me not go off on a tangent, but uh, I'd say thank you all superstars for taking the time out to watch this video. You know, really think about what I'm saying, take it into consideration and try to understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. And then um, y'all be safe out here. You know, we still got this nonsense with the COVID going on or whatever. 
uh, and then we got this kind of stuff happening in the midst and you still got life to be lived you know so just uh, move wisely think think before you act be safe you know watch your surroundings watch who you're around and who's around you and uh, what they may be up to or thinking about trying to do and protect yourself at all times you know that's not to say they go out here and be the aggressor because then you just put yourself in a whole nother situation which justifies whatever they choose to do with you at that point so uh y'all have a wonderful day stay safe be smart like subscribe share the video uh and uh i'll see y'all on the next one peace out